Yeah, I'm interested. Yeah. Um, thirty dollars. How much for all of it? All of it. Yeah, if I just buy the whole thing. Let's go over here and switch it on and see what happens. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Was this the yard sale where all the video games were? Well, I've got a bunch of Atari ones. Uh, that's all that's left, eh? Somebody else around here has got some too, because I had somebody else ask. Yeah, I saw that. That's cool, though. Man, that's cool. Does that work? Yeah. Hmm. How much for all of it? All of it? Yeah, if I just buy the whole thing. Would you do 30? I, I can't. I've got like probably about a hundred and all of that. A little more. Chicken biscuit. Okay. Caramel, caramel type. Yeah. Thirty-five. Why not? All right. Cool. Cool. I want. I want to play it. That's cool. I've never played an, an Atari before. You doing all right this morning? I am. What about you? I can't complain. <laughs> well, at least it's not raining. Yeah, I know. It could have been raining. It needed it, but we're kind of done with it, I think. I hope so. <laughs> I'm assuming there was probably a lot of video games here earlier. No, there wasn't. Oh, there was. Somebody advertised some video games, and I was like, well. Oh, was somebody out here? It was on Moon Lane. Yeah, no, not so, us. Okay. Because we didn't advertise anything. Okay. Let's go with Harley yeah. Davidson book. Yeah. Pretty neat. Got I used leathers. To... Got leathers over. I see that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I usually look for golf clubs. Oh, no, <laughs> Which, that's cool. Golf. No, yeah, that's kind of cool though. Harley Davidson pouch. How much for this thing? That? Two dollars. Two dollars? Okay. Might pick that you up. Said that somebody advertised a video game. Yeah, it was on my own layout. Yeah, well, yeah, I got a lot of video games. You do? Yeah. How'd you get that? Well, video? that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, it was a PC games. PC, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, it's no biggie. I usually look for sporting equipment mostly anyways. Oh, I uh, see. Croquet set. Croquet set, yeah. I saw Antique. it. Yeah. Antique. I thought I usually look for like golf clubs and tennis rackets and oh, sports stuff. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, I should be out here doing that. This yeah. is, uh, I'm a military collector. This is from my collection. Okay. Vietnam era. Oh, wow. That's Issue. pretty cool. Vietnam issue. That's pretty neat. I had a bunch of other stuff, but it went, it gone already. It gone already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guy came. And... Man. Yeah. Gotta get here early, I guess. Maximum load power slow. Might be coming. This is. I had that on one of my Harleys okay. in the front. You know. Yeah. You want two bucks for it? Yeah. I'll buy it. That's okay. fine. It's kind of cool. Another shirt too. Yeah. Harley shirts. Yeah. You might like this. Harley Cousy. That's cool. Same Harley, is it? Harley Davidson. How much are you asking for the shirts? Uh, a couple bucks each. A couple bucks each. Two, four. Did you, did you do five for all of it? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Not a bad deal. Hey, how you doing? All right.
Get ready, driver two, and we live. Formula. Huh? A lot of racing things. Look at all this cast iron right here. Jeez. Uh, okay. Oh, Callaways. Mm -hmm. Those are expensive. Yeah, well, those are three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Is see, it, well, is see, it going to stand? Uh, I don't probably think not. You know. Probably not. We should Are lean. I'll, up. I'll lean up against your house right there, maybe. Okay. She had a one dollar sticker on her own. Oh, she's worth more than that. What's this thing? The Razor 460. Oh, that's cool. Can I buy a few from you? Jim, you want to look at these? Do you know brands better than I? I know golf club brands. Um, well, I'm going to say five for the Callaway and then uh, three on these. Okay. I got. The only, I mean, it's probably worth it. I just I have too many of these things. You want five for this? Uh-huh. And you want three for these? Mm-hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Would you do, would you do ten bucks? Mm -hmm. Ten bucks? Okay. You don't have any golf clubs for sale, do you? Or tennis rackets or anything? Yeah, we just sold the clubs. You just sold the clubs today? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm a little bit insane. Yeah. So I actually do happen to have a full set of golf clubs for sale. Okay. You got three wedges. You got Nike Slingshot. Okay. All of them are brand new gripped with dry tax. Okay. So, you gotta love uh, that because these things go bad if they ain't replaced. Oh hell yeah, yeah yeah yeah. And I uh, got a pitching wedge as a title. Titles, okay. And then got some Callaway. Yeah, no 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 no. no, 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 no. Tommy no, no. Armor. They're Tommy Armors. And these are the three woods. Okay. But the driver. Oh Nike driver. Is okay. the Nike, and that's got a lambkin on it. But that has been replaced also with the Oh, last so you might be a, you're a pretty serious gamer. What kind of putter is in there? It's like an uh, You know what? I don't know which one of my putters is in Old there. Zebra putter. A zebra. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, it's actually a decent set. It's not, you know, your typical Dunlop that you're going to grab at one of these garage sales. Yeah. But, uh, I wasn't even really considering selling it. Make, make me an off rider, man. And the set of chairs mm. back and everything. These are cool. Yeah, those are cool. I like the, these. These like pure spins. Now, what got... I did, though, of course, because this is what I do. Yeah. This is originally blue, but I did it in red because red's my color. Okay. <laughs> so, I, had, I was wondering because they come blue. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's but, neat. The, but they are true, true spins. And again, mm. these are Karma's and these are still relatively new grips. So. Right. Yeah, I'm interested. Yeah. Um, $30. Let's do it. 30 bucks. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll do it. Let's go. Cool. Awesome. I can. Hey, good morning. How y'all doing? Good. I'm good. doing good. Yeah, <laughs> That's good. That Prince Long body here.
Do you have a price on your tennis rackets? Um, for both of those, how about eight bucks? Eight bucks? Yeah. Would you do five? Yep. Okay, I can do that. I'm gonna shop around some more. Okay. So I'll, I'll buy those. Okay. Yeah, I usually look. I like looking for tennis rackets. Do you have any golf clubs? No, it's okay. No, I had children ones at one time from my granddaughter. She yeah, had, but they they were they gone a long time. Uh, okay. You doing all right today? Yeah, I can't complain. Oh, I can't. Good. You haven't seen any rain, have you? I know. I hope I don't run into it. I hope we don't either. <laughs> yeah. I, I can get rid of some of this stuff. I tell you. <laughs> How much are you asking for this thing? Oh, what, 50 cents? 50 cents, I'll give you a dollar. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I talked you down on that one. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar on that one. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> That's him. Never thought I'd see a Wii in this box. How much you want for it? I 10. 10? Would you do five? Sure, take it. Cool. Uh, how you doing? How are you? I see him bringing out the shoe collection. I don't want to get in nobody's way though. <laughs> what size you wear? <laughs> so, how much are you asking for them? Um, I have my own. They depend. Some of them are rare than others. Here, Max. Hey, right. I'm dying right now. I mean, you're doing five dollars a shoe, are you? Nah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we ain't good wheel pricing. Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah. 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 Those who run 11, I think. Oh, these are cool. I wonder if Trevor will fit in these. How much for these and these? Uh, you can get $5 for them. For these? Yeah. Okay. I'll take them. Yeah, that ain't nothing. Right. Oh, Seven more the heck out of these. Not these, though. These are pretty, these are pretty fresh, too. Uh, yeah, do 25 bucks on them. 25? 30 total. So these aren't wide though? Nah, nah, none of them wide. I inherited my mama's big feet. <laughs> she got big fat feet. <laughs> Those are cute, but... Those are cute, I like that gray. You know how he, uh, you know how he just put them up there. Are you getting the gray ones? Yeah. No yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I might just roll with these. <laughs> Unless I look at the ones that you don't get, I'll just look at them. <laughs> I don't know. These are, it's hard to see. Right. I ain't gonna pressure you. I will get out of the way. I'm gonna get my treasure and leave. Yeah. Would you take 20 for both? Uh, nah, I'm pretty firm on 25. Yeah. 25? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you did. 25? <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't worried about them red ones. You can, okay. If you buy them ones for 25, you can have them. All right, I'm good with that. Hey, how you doing? Hey, All right. And I, I know you ready to do some shopping. You got the GoPro on. Yeah, man. The camel bag on. That's it. That's what I do. But I'm about shopped out. Yeah, hey, what you got here? Sanyo DVD VHS. Yeah, it's a DVD uh, VHS, right? Yeah. yeah. Old school. How much you asking for it? $5. Five dollars for it. Did you take three? Sir? Did you take three? Yeah, I'll take three. You got singles? Yeah, I think I do. You don't have any golf clubs for sale, do you? Uh -huh. Hey, how you doing? Hey. I'm looking at your golf club. Alright. This is, um, this is a strong three wood. Okay. How much were you asking for this? I'll pay 200 for it. Oh my god. But, uh, how about 10 bucks? Like, I might buy them all from you. All right. I'm a big golfer, and this is what I look for. So I'll, I'll buy that one and this that's one. A, that's a five wood on the three wood shaft. Okay. Oh, really? That's cool. Yes. I have that, was, that, that was innovative there. Oh, probably all four of those. And then, what do you got over here? I can pick them up if you need me to. Set of okay. Some IDAs. Okay. And you got a little scuff in, but that's okay. Yeah, um, some kabukis. I don't know what do you want to what do you want to pack. Is this all the golf clubs? That's a yeah. I know you have some. Guy, guy came in and bought a whole bunch before. Oh wow, before before me. Yeah. Okay. Man. Okay. Um. Twenty you, bucks for everything. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. It's cool. All right, guys. So now I'm back home, and I have all of my haul on the table, and I'm gonna tell y'all this is like one of my best hauls. 
I've ever had where I have scored across every single category, not spending a ton of money, and just this is a lot of profitable stuff here on my table. And so what I'm, I mean, look, we got sporting equipment. Of course, I got golf clubs, tennis rackets. I've got some awesome shoes in here. I mean, you should see these shoes. Those things are crazy. And then we've got Harley Davidson stuff, vintage Harley Davidson stuff. We got video game stuff, electronics, and of course. I'm gonna just kind of go over everything in detail, one by, not one by one, but give you highlights of the stuff I got with Soul Comps. And of course, the vintage Atari right here is gonna have its own little segment at the end of my video. So guys, stay tuned. Let's get into it and check out the stuff that I got. Hey right, guys, first thing we're gonna do is start out with the sporting goods. So I'm not gonna go over every single thing, but just a few highlights. So first thing we got is tennis rackets. I mean, we've got a Prince. It's called a Lightning. It's got that little thick beam. That's kind of why I wanted to get it. I tried to look up comps for this one. They're running about $20, $30. We got the hammer over here made by Wilson. I'll throw a soul comp in the screen if I can find, but this one right here has got a lot of scuffing and it's not good for resale about that. You know, if you find them with a lot of scuff marks and it might even have a crack in it. So I didn't like that. But anyway, the highlight one is this one here. This is the Prince Longbody Thunderlight. Comes with the case. Um, it's kind of an older racket, but I have sold this one before. It does sell for like 30 bucks. I mean, you can tell it's like, uh, older racket but with the newer technology where it's got that like morph beam there they call it a, i think they call it a morph beam because i saw that on here and where'd i see that at yeah there you go morph beam this tennis racket runs about i think 30 dollars. i mean i got the case and the racket's in good shape so about 30 bucks i'll throw the comp in the screen for you in the side and i paid five bucks for all of that so not a bad deal moving on to the golf clubs i did have a pretty decent golf club score even though you probably heard in the video someone came behind me and was picking up golf clubs after me or before me and that sucks but anyway i still score some good stuff we got some nike slingshot irons these right here are very popular they do sell very well if you can have the whole set i don't have the whole set but a whole set of these do run about over 200 dollars if you ever find them then we got some tommy Almar like hybrids i'll take one off there they're under these callaway um, head covers which i might just sell the head covers by themselves Tommy Armoire is a good name to pick up. These will probably sell these three together. Probably sell for like 40 bucks. And then we got a Nike driver here. It's not bad. It's like a $20, $30 driver. It's one of like their early models that they made. It's not like very popular, but still it's got a dealer shaft on it. Not too bad. We got a chipper. I always tell everybody you find chippers. They usually sell 10, 15 bucks, but they do sell a very popular golf club to have. Did come with a zebra putter. Zebra putters are cool. I mean, I think this one runs about, I haven't found the Zach Soul Comp on this model, but this modern day Zebra Putter does run probably around 20, I think around 20 bucks. These things are cool right here. These are the pure skin wedges. Best way to sell these is if you do find all three of them like this. We got the sand wedge, the lob wedge, and the approach wedge. And basically they have, they create a really good spin on the ball because it has like this rough finish on the face. So they are popular. Um, and I think those are probably get, I'll probably end up getting like 30, 40 bucks for those. It's not bad all in all with that bag because I, I spent 30 bucks and then we got a mix of good stuff here. We got Cleveland's a good name to pick up. I got that and we got an Adam set here and that should run about a hundred, I think about a hundred bucks for that set. We got the GX7 driver. I have talked about this in previous videos. This driver itself does sell for like, I think sometimes up to a hundred dollars. So I'll throw the soul comp in the screen. I love finding that thing. So decent pickup and one of the more like interesting things I got as a golf club was this here. This is a Spalding TPM, T, it stands for TP Mills one putter. Um, and it's been modified to be a belly putter with grips. I don't know, it's kind of weird. So I've never seen that before, but TP, TP Mills putters do sell very well and fast. I want to say that one's like $20, $30. So not bad for the sporting good pickups here. All right, guys, next up we got is some Harley Davidson stuff. Harley Davidson is Big time resale stuff if you can find them cheap. I mean, they sell very fast, very well, and they're very popular. So what we got, we have a Harley's owner's group. They call it the Hog little patch here. I have not looked this up yet. If I can find a soul comp for it, I will throw it in the screen. You threw that in with my bundle. I got two Harley shirts. Anytime I find Harley Davidson shirts, so we got American flag on one side. It's probably got a city on the back. So we got Harbor City, California. And I know this one's already Charleston, South Carolina, I think. I thought it was. I don't see Charleston on here. There, there it is. It's on the sleeve. So we got Low Country Harley Davidson on the sleeve. These are probably around about 15, 20 bucks. But the grand slam of it was this here. This is like a little tool pouch for on for on the side of the motorcycle. Um, I looked this thing up. I found one that sold back in April for seventy dollars, 
And I want to say mine's in just as good a shape as that one. So definitely was a good score there. A little leather pouch, just the H and D. Almost thought this thing was fake because it just said HD on the side. And I mean, I don't know everything or any like a lot about Harley Davidson stuff other than reselling the name. But I mean, even like the the emblem was just in there, but there wasn't Harley Davidson actually written out. So, but yeah, this is a real authentic leather little tool pouch that you put inside the motorcycle and it's about $70 on based off the last sold comp I've seen for this one back in April. So I think I spent like five, eight, eight bucks. I, I forgot, but it wasn't much. So definitely was a good score. All right, guys, next up we have this amazing little shoe haul here. These right here at Nike Air Max is that he just kind of threw in with the bundle. I'm actually going to keep these. These are in my size and they don't really comp a whole lot, maybe 20, 30 bucks. So not bad there, but these right here, this was the home run of that yard sale. These things are amazing. I looked up the sole comps on these things. These things run about 200 or more dollars. This is the Nike Air Max BW Ultra BR. I'm not sure what all that stands for, but it stands for a lot of money because I only paid 25 bucks for these. And yes, he's right. They are fresh. They are very nice, clean. I mean, they're in my size. I should keep them. They're size 10. But yeah, not too bad of a score for 25 bucks. I'm going to turn that into hopefully anywhere from... I mean, if someone offered me 150 for these, I'd probably take it. They have some use on them, but they, they are still really clean and fresh. And definitely glad I scored that. I mean, the other lady had the other shoes in her hand. I wasn't going to try to argue about shoes, so I'm glad I got what I got. So definitely was a good score. All right, guys. And, of course, we got a couple electronics here on the table. I've got a Sanyo DVD VHS combo player. These, you know, sometimes I'll pick these up, especially the plastic model ones. This one right here, this particular model, I think, was selling for about 30 maybe 40 bucks. I'll throw the sole comp in the screen for you i did pay three bucks for that so not bad and we got the the wii here that i found that little box i did not think i was gonna see a wii in that box but we still hold pretty decent value i want to say the same still runs about 50 bucks off ebay throw the still comp screen for you and it would be very awesome if i could just pop out a wii sports out of there or a mario sometimes that does happen so not a bad score though for five bucks and paying three so it should make a pretty good return on investment for between the both of them as in last but not least we're not gonna leave out this old dog right here we have an atari and i believe this is the 2600 model yep the 2600a if y'all aren't familiar with atari it came before the nes it's like your first gaming system i believe known to man if there is another one before atari someone let me know in the comments below i've never played one of these and i've always wanted to and this thing came stacking with a ton of games in here i mean we got donkey kong oh what else combat chopper command i mean I can't wait to try this thing out. So it's got probably over 20, maybe 30 games in here. Look, Cuber, even with the manual. And then we got all the controllers in here. We got one, two, three, four, five controllers. And we have the hookups in here. And then I, I will give a shout out to a gentleman that was, he came at one of the yard sales, said he heard about the Atari getting sold and it was me who bought it. And normally this ain't the stuff I look to find, but I will pick this stuff up if I can find it cheap. And he was telling me about an adapter that you will need because this thing right here has this old school, if you can see, adapter. I guess it would go into like a late 70s TV, early 80s. And then our technology today has the coax, so you would have to have an adapter. So it did come with the adapter. So hopefully this thing is going to work once I plug it in. So basically you'll just plug that end right here. Oh, where'd it go? Yeah, we plug that in. You know, it's self explanatory you're plugging that in there and that goes in the back of your tv and then i'll have to play with channels one two three and four <laughs> making sure i get that right but look at that that's cool what is that even for i was looking at that i mean that's definitely something old i bet this even has a soul comp channel master model 7287 pretty neat so of course guys in this video i am going to test this of course if i find anything like this cool we gotta try it out so let's go try it out and see if it works Guys, so I got this thing all hooked up now, so hopefully it's gonna work. I got everything hooked up like I'm supposed to. I mean, I got the power cord, of course, hooked up, and then reach around here. I'll show you. We have the RV cable here, or whatever you want to call it, the adapter that goes into the the um the system to the coax cable. So should work. And let's go over here and switch it on and let's see what happens. Oh my God, it works! Man, that is awesome. Wow, look at that. Got a little bit of lines here. It's probably from the coax cable, but we'll leave it alone. See what happens if we play it, if it works. Guys, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of rehearsed this a little bit. This thing's so old, so I know with this video game, it took me a few minutes, but you had to hit the button. And then once you hit the button, it's activated. There we go. 
And then I think you just hit the button to get up. I just can't ever get up here. I've been trying. I can't get up the ladder. Oh, you can kind of fly. Uh, anyway. Oh, oh, don't get me, don't get me, don't get me. Ah, yeah, that's cool though. I mean, you're talking about 70s, early 80s technology still working. I mean, I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna try out a different game too while we're here. So let's cut this. All right, guys, so I did get Frogger working. Looks like you gotta have this joystick to do it. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. You just cross the street here. That's well, kind of fun. I mean, I can imagine being a kid in like the 70s, early 80s. I mean, it's the first game system available. Oh, I just kind of ran over. And you just have something to tinker with other than just reading books. So, I mean, just really cool nostalgia, just learning your entry level game systems here. It makes you really appreciate. I mean, look, I got systems down here that are old. Wii's, Xbox Ones, I got a PlayStation 4. I mean, our technology that where we've came from, from this stuff, I mean, you just gotta have mad respect for this. Like I am so intrigued by this. So awesome that I can score something like this at a yard sale. All right guys, we can try one more out. I got Gala Galaxy in. This one's more of a modern game. So it's like this was made in 1983. Wow, look at that, that is so cool. Like you can tell like the game designs improved from like the, like some of those older ones I was just playing to now. I mean, let's see if it's got a sound to it. Does it have any sound? Okay, we're starting. Okay, got sound. Okay, this is pretty cool. It's kind of like a game you'd play in an arcade back in the 80s. Oh, that's cool. Probably sit there and play this all day. Not too bad. I mean, it's just amazing. Like, just in a one year, their technology increased. So, like, also, guys, I want to give you an opportunity to look at the games. I don't know any big bolo in here. I've looked up a few of them. But if you see anything worth any money, you could probably leave it in the comments below. That would help me out. And we got Asteroid Blast, Defender. So just want to give y'all a quick look at that. And if you find anything that's worth a big value, you think, just throw it in the comments below. Because Atari games, from what I can see, do not go for big money. So there you go. So probably what I'm going to do with that whole deal is lot it all together and sell it off on eBay. I think soul comps on Atari 2600 go for like around $60. And a whole lot like that is probably going to value between $100 and 150 so um, I'll get some play time out of it first before I let it go. But guys, I appreciate y'all watching today. If you did get some good value or if you got some great entertainment out of today's video, please don't forget to hit the like button. It does help my channel out a lot. But guys, again, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.